Hello everyone, and welcome back to Infinite Altitudes, where we bring you everything about aviation. In this video, we bring you some of the most notable accidents in aviation. Stay with us till the end, because we have saved a significant one for the very end. We begin with what is the very first airline disaster that resulted in fatality. It was September 17, 1908, a day that would change history forever. Thomas Selfridge, a young and eager lieutenant in the U.S. Army, stood beside Orville Wright, one of the famous Wright brothers who had invented the airplane. They were at Fort Myer, Virginia, ready to test a new aircraft for the Army. Everyone was excited, but no one could have predicted what was about to happen. The airplane, which was a fragile-looking machine made of wood and fabric, was unlike anything people had seen before. It was an early model that Orville and his brother Wilbur had designed. Thomas Selfridge, curious and excited, wanted to be one of the first to experience flying in this brand new invention. He was about to become the first military officer to fly in an airplane. As the airplane took off, it seemed like everything was going well. The machine rose into the sky and the crowd below watched with amazement. Thomas Selfridge was excited, loving the feeling of flying. But as they climbed higher and higher, something started to go wrong. Just after reaching about 150 feet in the air, there was a loud crack. One of the propeller blades had broken, causing the plane to shake violently. Orville tried to keep control, but the aircraft began to spiral out of control. The crowd below gasped in fear as the plane dropped quickly toward the ground. The crash was brutal. The airplane hit the ground with a terrible force, breaking into pieces. The onlookers rushed to the scene, hoping to help the two men inside. Orville was badly injured but alive. However, Thomas Selfridge was not so fortunate. The impact had caused severe injuries to Thomas Selfridge's head. He was unconscious, and despite the efforts to save him, he never regained consciousness. Later that evening, Thomas Selfridge was pronounced dead. He was only 26 years old. Thomas Selfridge became the first person to die in a powered airplane crash. After the accident, many changes were made to improve the safety of airplanes. The Wright brothers, deeply affected by the crash, worked hard to make their machines safer. They redesigned the aircraft, making it stronger and more reliable. The Army also became more cautious in testing new airplanes, understanding the risks involved. Thomas Selfridge's death was not in vain. His sacrifice helped pave the way for the development of safer and more advanced aircraft. We hope you are still with us and that you will like this video and subscribe to our channel for everything about aviation. Next, we bring you the crash that involved two jumbo jets and even after almost 50 years, stands out in infamy as the single disaster which caused the highest number of passenger and crew deaths. It was a foggy afternoon on March 27, 1977, at Los Rodeos Airport in Tenerife, one of the Canary Islands. Two giant airplanes were on the runway, and both were getting ready to take off. One was a KLM flight from the Netherlands, and the other was a Pan Am flight from the United States. Neither plane was supposed to be there, but they were forced to land because a terrorist attack at another airport had disrupted normal operations. As the two planes sat on the runway, the weather got worse. The thick fog made it hard for anyone to see more than a few feet ahead. Inside the cockpits, the pilots were trying to figure out when they could take off. The KLM plane was first in line, but there was a problem. The Pan Am plane was still on the runway, trying to find its way to the right spot to wait for its turn. In the fog, the pilots of the KLM plane couldn't see the Pan Am plane. But the KLM captain, a very experienced pilot, thought everything was clear. He believed he had received permission from the air traffic controller to take off. However, due to a misunderstanding, he hadn't. The Pan Am plane was still directly in his path. As the KLM plane sped down the runway, the Pan Am pilot saw the bright lights of the other plane racing toward them, but it was too late to avoid the collision. The KLM plane slammed into the Pan Am plane at high speed. The impact was catastrophic. The sound of the crash was deafening. Flames and smoke filled the sky as pieces of the two planes spread across the runway. Emergency workers hurried to the scene, but the disaster was colossal. Most of the people on the KLM plane died instantly. On the Pan Am plane, many were trapped by fire and debris. Some managed to escape, but many did not make it. It was heart-wrenching. Families who were waiting for their loved ones at the airports were devastated when they heard the news. 
The disaster killed 583 people, making it the deadliest aviation accident in history, an unfortunate record that stands till today. Investigators later discovered that a series of miscommunications and human errors had led to the disaster. The thick fog, the stress of the situation, and the confusion between the pilots and air traffic control all played a part. If any one of these factors had been different, the accident might have been avoided. The Tenerife Airport disaster led to many changes in the aviation industry. Pilots were trained to double-check instructions and to be more aware of potential dangers, even in confusing situations. We hope you are still with us and that you will like this video and subscribe to our channel for everything about aviation. Next up is when we had the highest number of passenger and crew losses in a single year. We had two major incidents and unfortunately, both involved Malaysian Airlines. On July 17, 2014, Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 was flying from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur, carrying 298 people. The plane was cruising high above Ukraine when disaster struck. It was a clear day and everything seemed normal. Until suddenly the aircraft was hit by a powerful missile. The missile struck the plane with incredible force, causing it to break apart in the sky. Pieces of the aircraft fell to the ground in a field near the town of Torres, Ukraine. It was a terrifying scene. All 298 passenger and crew on board were killed instantly. The world was shocked by the news. The investigation revealed that the missile came from a type of weapon used by military forces. This weapon was brought into the area where the plane was hit. The conflict in Ukraine was ongoing at that time, and the region was dangerous. International teams quickly went to the crash site to gather evidence and help with recovery efforts. They faced many challenges because the area was controlled by armed groups and was not safe. It took weeks for investigators to collect the remains and analyze the wreckage. The investigation concluded that the missile was fired from a region controlled by pro-Russian rebels, though the exact details of how it happened were complex. The families of those on board continue to seek answers and justice for their loved ones and the world remembers the tragedy as a call for peace and safety in aviation. And finally, we bring the mystery of MH370 that, even after a decade, remains unsolved. It was a quiet night on March 8, 2014, when Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 took off from Kuala Lumpur, heading to Beijing. There were 239 people on board, and everything seemed normal. But just a little while after takeoff, something strange happened. The plane suddenly disappeared from radar. At first, air traffic controllers thought it might be a mistake. Planes don't just vanish. They tried to contact the pilots, but there was no response. Everyone started to worry. The plane was supposed to arrive in Beijing in a few hours, but it never did. Families waiting at the airport were told their loved ones were missing. Search teams from many countries quickly came together looking through the ocean for any sign of the missing plane. They searched for weeks, using ships, planes, and satellites, but they found nothing. It was as if Flight MH370 had just disappeared. Months later, pieces of the plane began washing up on distant shores, confirming that it had crashed somewhere in the Indian Ocean. But no one could figure out how or why it had ended up so far off course. There were many theories, some thought it was a mechanical failure, others suspected foul play, but till today, no one knows for sure. Flight MH370's disappearance remains the greatest mystery in aviation history. Even after years of searching, the main wreckage of the plane has never been found. The families of the passengers and crew still don't have all the answers they need. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel for more updates.